In this video, we'll see how to use uh, Material UI components in your Next.js project. That first, you need to create a Next.js project. Here, I already have a Next.js project up and running. This is based on page routers. As you can see in the files explorers, you can see that I have an index page already inside up inside my pages folder, which is pretty much empty. It doesn't really have anything. What I'll do is I'll go to my project. I'll copy this npm install command from the Material UI website. This is to install the required module for Material UI. I'll go to my Next.js project. I'll paste this thing. I'll do minus minus save. To register this data in my package.json file. So once this thing is installed, we should be able to use the Material UI components in our Next.js project. So now as you can see we just installed the material ui modules here so now to check whether it's working or not i'll straight away go to the material ui component list you can find it here go to components there we can have any of the components so i'll take list for the time being i'll go to this nested list i'll go to show code we just check if this thing is working or not what i'll do is i'll simply copy the whole thing and paste it here so here you can see that we have some dependencies which are not yet solved so as you can see this particular layout or this particular example uses a couple of uh, material components which are already good and fine like collapse component is being used list item text etc etc these since we already installed our material module is got imported directly now the icon materials this is another package for showing icons here we have a package for this thing so i'll just go to the package i'll copy the command for this thing and i'll install this thing in my project i'll just save it to the package.json also so once this package is installed the, these icons should be Good to go as you can see we just uh, installed mui icons material icons and these are good to go this errors got resolved and all these components that we're using here are all material ui components so if it runs successfully we should be able to see something like this on the screen i'll just save the changes it's already saved i'll run the project Now, if you reload the page, you should be able to see the UI components, the material UI components. So, I hope you find this video useful. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.